Hey guys, I'm going to do a little knife review for you here. Um, I picked this knife up in November of 2014. Um, had it for a few months now. Been carrying it pretty regularly. I, I have a, a fairly decent collection that I rotate in, but uh, I do enjoy um, this particular knife. Um, I'll give you a little bit of uh, my uh, thoughts and, and uh, feedback on it, as well as some of the specs. Um, this is the Benchmade Adamus, or Adamus, however you'd like to pronounce it. I'm not positive which way it's supposed to be. I call it the Adamus um, by Shane Siebert. Of course, this is the tan version. It also comes in a black version. Uh, this is the 275 Adamus folder. Uh, comes with this uh, Moly compatible pouch. It's good and solid. Uh, malice clip on it. Feels very well made. Um, I put some good use into it. I usually carry it in my pocket, but uh, if I'm wearing just normal jeans, or something with smaller pockets than I'd like, I'll, I'll strap it on the belt every once in a while as well. Of course, this is uh, Benchmade. Uh, Gives proceeds of this to support uh, Army Rangers Foundation, or the Ranger Assistance Foundation, sorry. Uh, we don't have Rangers up here in Canada, not per se, not the same, uh, not the same team, but uh, just the same. Uh, I support anybody uh, going to bat for their country. So uh, comes with the instruction manual, of course, a little tag talking about it being an access folder. Black series, professional series from uh, Benchmade. Uh, this is not my first Benchmade. Uh, I've had a few before this, um, but I was very anxious to get this knife. Uh, just seemed very nicely overbuilt and uh, and rugged. Um, first one I really had that was this uh, solid feeling, and I was I'm quite happy I made the purchase. Uh, so this knife has a 3.82 inch blade. Uh, it's D2 tool steel, 60 to 62 Rockwell. Uh, let's see here. Has a deep carry pocket clip, and it is uh, pretty decent for the size of the knife. Um, that's what you've got coming out of the top of your pocket. Not too bad at all. Uh, it's a loop over pocket clip. Uh, G10 scales. Uh, your pocket clip is reversible left or right, but not up or down. So this is only tip-up carry. Um, I prefer tip-up carry. That's cool for me. If I had to make a comment about this knife and tip-up carry, is be careful. Now, I have not caught myself yet. Um, but I definitely see the potential of you cutting yourself wide open with this. There is no blade retention. It is ridiculously easy to have it come open on you. It, it sounds like the axis lock, lock uh, snaps it shut, but it's, it's not. I mean, it's one finger underneath of it, just very little resistance. Detent doesn't, or not detent, but I guess the spring on the axis lock doesn't do much to keep it closed. So. Something to be, really be careful about, guys, if you get one of these. I might be the only one. Um, I haven't really, uh, I don't know anyone else that has this knife, so I can only speak from my personal experience. Be careful with it in your pocket because you could easily slice yourself open. Um, now, I say that, this is still one of my favorite knives. It is solid. It's nice in the hand. I have about, uh, depending on the gloves I'm wearing, uh, XL to 2XL. Uh, my motorcycle gloves are a 2XL. Um, so, decent size hands. And it's, uh, it fits me very nicely. I'm, uh, I love the grip on this thing. Um, I'm by no means a person who needs a knife for combat on a daily, daily basis by any means. So I, uh, you know, I'm not going to be usually holding a knife in this manner um, but either way it's comfortable I, uh, I find it very nice in hand 
the coating on the blade. Um, I, I guess it's probably what they would call diamond DLC. Um, looking at the site to see if they tell me what the coating is or not. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, anyway, whatever they call this coating, it's all right. Um, I don't find it sticks on as well as, for example, the Spyderco DLC. I have a Manix 2XL, and the coating has been... I, I've beat on the knife, and the coating is still perfect on it. Um, whereas this, I don't know if you can see, right along this uh, ridge on both sides, is starting to wear. Which is fine. It's a knife. It should be worn. But... I believe where that mostly was worn was on my Apex Edge Pro. That was not due to use, that was due to just sharpening the thing. Um, which by the way, this D2 tool steel takes an awesome edge. Love it. It retains its edge for a good long time. Uh, I'm very happy with that. One thing I did notice is the grind on this knife. As far as, if we, if we look at the centering on the uh, on the blade, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you here. If you look at the tip, the tip does not look centered at all. I don't know if I can get that to focus. The tip doesn't look centered, but the blade is. There, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's like the grind is different from one side to the other. Um, fairly extremely different. Uh, now, I, I did have to adjust on my on my sharpener to, uh, to kind of keep the same profile. I might just reprofile it eventually, but with the D2, it's, it's probably going to take me a little time. Um, but yeah, so the blade centering is actually perfect. Um, but the tip is off-center. Uh, you know, it, it still cuts. <laughs> I had no real real complaints about uh, the edge retention or the sharpness of it. Uh, it just it doesn't seem like Benchmade took a whole lot of time to make sure their uh, their tooling was right and uh, everything was was where it needed to be when they ground this down. But uh, it is nice and smooth. I think it's uh, phosphor broad pushing in there. Let's see if we can verify that. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's probably a bit bright. There we go. You see the uh, bronze phosphor brush bushings. Um, of course, it's flow through construction G10 uh, backspacer. Yeah, really solid knife. Um, picked this up at Warriors and Wonders or Blades Canada, uh, which are in BC. Uh, those guys always treat me really well, they're real quick to ship. Uh, of course, I am on the east coast of Canada, BC being on the west coast. They usually get it to me within two or three days at most. And uh, I've got whatever product I happen to purchase from them. This is by no means the only thing I've got from them. Most of my flashlights have come from there. And most of my knives as well. Um, yeah, on a whole, uh, I would give this knife a, a very positive review. With the caveat that you got to watch yourself. Um... Anyone who carries a knife every day, um, I carry several. Always got a Swiss Army knife, Gerber, pocket knife. You know you got to watch what you're doing. Um, if you haven't cut yourself, you're you're not a knife guy. Uh, there's no way. Thankfully, I haven't cut myself on this thing yet. Uh, but again, I do see the potential of it happening. I'll let you know if it does. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's about it. If you guys have any questions uh, or if there's anything I've missed that you'd like to know about this knife or about my experience with it, uh, feel free to write me a message below in the comments. I will be glad to respond and uh, yeah, keep in touch. Thanks everyone.